all righty oh my god it's like two in the morning and i shouldn't be the up this late but i am but it's literally like one day until opening oh my goodness okay enough with the ismr today's video is gonna be hella different um in fact i'm actually just gonna have like an open discussion about like almost like etiquette and behavior so with canada's wonderland and other attractions opening after one of the world's longest lockdowns here um things are going to be really difficult um things may not be operating to the best of their ability um there may be staffing issues uh i'm trying to go off of everything that's happened at cedar point and other parks but like things may not be perfect it's really hard to be perfect after such a long period of time and with people maybe not necessarily rushing to get back to work so what I wanted to talk about is how to behave as roller coaster enthusiasts at Canada's Wonderland this year. I think that we need to be super um, respectful and understanding of ride ops, uh, restaurant workers, the park itself, and just be totally understanding that it ain't going to be perfect. It's going to be far from perfect. And that's okay. We're just so lucky to finally be back at this park, and we should just honestly be appreciating it for anything that it is right now. And I would really hate to see anyone be um, kind of like taking it for granted and, you know, causing a scene or being rude and disrespectful to ride ops or anyone working at the park and even just like trashing the park um, anywhere even on social media, I can promise you guys that you're not going to see any videos this year of us being upset with an experience. Fingers crossed. And hold me to that, by the way. If I release a video any point this year, um, crapping on the park uh, from this year's experience or anything, please call me out. Um, <laughs> hold me to that. I do not want to focus on the negative. I really just want to focus on the positive because it feels like it's been forever since I've been in this park and I just can't take it anymore and we're literally one day away and it just doesn't even feel real like has this week gone by fast for anyone because it's gone by really fast for me and like that's a shock normally when you have something to look forward to it's like it goes so slow so the fact that it's gone by fast is just absolutely amazing and yeah, I can't wait to get in there. I can't wait to smell the park as weird as it sounds. I can't wait to hear the god awful like anti rollbacks. Just click, 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 click. Uh, the wooden coasters, just the screeching, and just everything. I can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to smell it. I can't wait to taste it. I can't wait to be there. Like I just miss it. And I just wanna like honestly, for anyone that watches my videos at least, I would love it if like we all just made like a pact to be like super respectful this year and just remind ourselves that we're so lucky to be here and that you know anyone that's choosing to work at a theme park still in a pandemic or just after a pandemic deserves the utmost respect and even if things let's say they don't let you pick a seat or you don't get that front row ride just like understand that that's okay this year just be super respectful and every year by the way but you know just hold yourself to an extra high standard to be understanding appreciative and just supportive like we're there to enjoy ourselves and let's make sure we're not making someone else's life more difficult or more unenjoyable than it needs to be so i mean I know this wasn't a video that many people were probably expecting for the day one video, but I've just been like afraid. I've been scared that, you know, seeing some enthusiasts in the States, you know, upset and complaining and, you know, it's okay to be frustrated. It is. Trust me, I'm not sitting here saying it's not okay to be frustrated. I probably will be frustrated at points during this season, but it's just to remind, like, just to hold yourself accountable for your behavior and how you portray yourself when you are frustrated like this season it doesn't need to be expressed like just enjoy it for what it is anyways i hope this message got through to even one person if it didn't that's okay too it's okay to be frustrated just yeah thanks so much for watching guys hopefully you're having an amazing weekend see you at the park on monday and tuesday have a good one bye